Hey, it's Jesse with Critical Lift Solutions. Today I'm going to teach you a really easy way to calculate your sling angle multiplier. Uh, it's really easy. You're working off the 10 inch rule and all you need is a little cheap tape measure like this. The way this works is you run your tape measure out to 10 inches and you run that tape horizontally along the top of your load until you meet the sling. Make a little mark where that meets and measure from that point to your attachment point. In this case, it's 13 inches. All you have to do is put a decimal point in between the two numbers. This, the sling angle multiplier on this would be 1.3. That's how easy it is. Now, we all know in the real world that this isn't what your attachment point is going to look like. Usually the lifting eye or whatever attachment point it is is either going to be raised or lowered a little bit. So it's not any different. All you do is account for that. Take the, where your shackle pin meets, measure to the top of the load. In this case, it's two and a half inches. So you just add that to the 10 inches. So if, if in a scenario like this, if it's raised two and a half inches, you would make it, add that and to your 10 inches, making it 12 and a half inches. Same thing, 12 and a half inches, run that along your load, make a point there, measure from that to your attachment point, whatever that number is, put a decimal point in between the two of them and you have your sling angle multiplier. 